What's up guys, it's me, your badass history and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to go and take on the gym leader right here in Rustboro City. Yeah, normally I would go up north, battle some trainers. I would go west, battle even more trainers just because, you know, I want to fill up a full episode to show you guys what Owen's all about. But no, this time I'm going to go battle the gym leader right here in Rustboro City. Why? Because we got two Pokemon that, you know, have a very good advantage against this chick right here. Apparently she, uh, her name is, Ru uh, her name is Roxanne. She's the rock-loving, uh, honor student. Which, you know, rock Pokemon, very easy to get, you know? I got grass type, I got a water type, I think we're gonna do fine right here, you know, Shroomly and Sh Swamp Lord are gonna kick some butt, so Gaia and Shadow will be like right there on the on the sidelines watching as we dominate this whole gym right here, so let's go ahead, let's go in there and just destroy the whole thing now. One thing that you should notice right here in the uh, Rustboro City Gym is that it's a little bit different from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, I think there was like, what, two, g two Pokemon trainers right here, and like I said in a few episodes ago, um, Pokemon Emerald actually puts a little more emphasis on the double battles right here. So you guys will be seeing a double battle in this one right here. And, uh, well, as you can see, I could just battle her right now if I wanted to. But I kind of want to get that experience. So we're going to go all the way back down and we're going to be battling everybody right now. So what we're going to do first is talk to this guy right here. It's like, yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become champion? Well, I kind of am a champion, you know. Kanto, Hoenn, or no, Kanto, Johto, Kanto, Johto, you know, that, that same thing. I'm no trainer. Not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's it. It's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. Well, it's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges. Am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The rock type is a very durable, but it can't stand water types and grass type moves. Come or come see me afterwards if you beat Roxanne. Well, go for it. Alright, let's see. I got those two Pokemon right there. You know, I got a grass type and I got a water type, so it should be easy, right? Let's go ahead and see. Let's go and take on our first trainer right here in this gym. He's like, don't take us gym uh, trainers lightly. I'll show you how why we're better. Hmm, I don't know. You're probably... Learning under Roxanne. I don't know. That's probably the deal right there. So here we have Youngster Josh. He's coming out with his Geodude right here. And uh, look at that. Level 10. So Shroom Lee. Probably going to have his work cut out for him. But he has grass type moves right here. And this guy going with a tackle attack. It's a very, very strong Pokemon right now. But luckily, Bullet Seed will just take a critical hit right here. And one more for, for the road. You know, it's super effective. Eat it. Get it good, Geodude. That's right. I just beat you. And look at that. Grew to level 9. That's it is, it's, it's very simple. Look at that. He nearly grows another level right there. He's like, you were too good for me. Well, again, I just told this guy that I'm like the Johto League champion, you know, Kanto League. Kanto League, hardest league to beat, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. Let's move on forward. And like I said, there's going to be a double battle in here. And luckily, I do have my Swamp Lord ready for this one right here. So here we go. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. We might be in the middle of town. But so what? Right, my rock type or my rock Pokemon need room to rampage. So here it is. A double battle. Look at that. Double battle. And I think they did this in Pokemon Emerald because they didn't really put a lot of emphasis on the whole uh, double battle in Ruby and Sapphire. They just had like, what, five? Five battles plus a gym battle? I don't know. But let's go ahead and just take them all on right here. Let's destroy them. Swamp Lord. With a water gun attack. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just like that. Defeated you. So easily. And look at that. Sh uh, Shroom Lee grows to level 10 so easily and he's starting to learn, or she's starting to learn elite seed right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna yeah take away tackle attack because it's not gonna do us any good right now and would you look at that no more tackle here we go with the leech seed and uh, swamp lord right here you know doing his thing i'm about to beat this other geodude down because you know he's that cool but you know what shroom lee hasn't even battled right now so here we go bullet seed and there goes that geodude oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna breeze through this gym right here so breeze and, uh, well, we got one more Pokemon right here. Each 
So, I know what to do. We're gonna like switch them off right here. So, bullet seed with that guy. And I'm gonna use water gun on that guy. And, yeah, we're just crisscrossing right here. Look at that. So easily. Now, cool thing about this generation, yes, we do have effects, but, you know, most rock type Pokemon here don't have the sturdy effect yet because, well, well, normal, normally rock types have a sturdy effect. Doesn't have it right here, which makes it a whole lot easier for us to just defeat these rock type Pokemon. And, well, as you can see, Shroom Lee grows to 11, level 11 right there. And, uh, he's like, wow, you got some potential, potential, I should say. Oh, oh man, our challenger is a feisty customer. That's right, the champ is here. Now, if you guys move out of the way, I can go ahead and uh, battle this girl right here. See, you see how easy that was? All right, let's see. Let's go with that potion. All right, give Shroom Lee a little bit of a something something right there. All right, it's finally time, guys, for, you know, another rock type gym leader right here. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, get acquainted to her and all that stuff. You guys know what I mean. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rust uh, Pokemon gym leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and which with uh, with which Pokemon? So here it is, guys. Our very first gym battle in the Hoenn region against mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Leader Roxanne. That's right, and she's coming out with her Geodude, and I'm coming out with Shroomly. And uh, would you look at that, guys? You see? New, new and improved screen and all that stuff. That's right, I am letting you guys know now what happens right here. So, if you guys are playing Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Roxanne only has two Pokemon, which is a Geodude at level 14 and a Nosepass at level 15. Their main move is Rock Tomb, Rock Throw, and then of course you got that Tackle Attack for, or Tackle Attack and Defense Curl and Harden and all that stuff, just to raise up their defenses now. And Pokemon Emerald right here, she does have an extra Geodude, one at level 12, or two at level 12, and of course, her nose pass at level 15. Just remember, you're about to beat this nose pass. It does have an Oran Berry as a held item. Again, be careful for that Rock Tomb attack. They are weak against Grass type, Fighting types, Water types. I believe Ice types, huh? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Ground types, yes. You should use that. And let's move forward right here. So here we go. Bullet Seed. And uh, wow, they're gonna just go with a. Uh, yeah, you're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. Okay. So here we go, bullet seed attack. That's right, more than one attack right here. Come on, Shroomly, destroy him. Look at that. Say goodbye to Geodude right there. Bye bye, Geodude. Geodude's not feeling good right now, and uh, Shroomly grows to level 12. Easy battle right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch it up to Swamp Lord right here because, yes. We got two more Pokemon right here that should be stronger than my Swamp Lord, right? I don't know. So here we have Geodude. And we're going to go with that Water Gun attack. And as you can see, look at that. Soak some the hell up and uh, say goodbye to Geodude right there. Look at that. And uh, Swamp Lord grows to level 12, 15 and is trying to learn Bide. Huh. All right, I'm going to switch it out with Growl. I don't normally use Bide a lot because... Usually these Pokemon trainers like to use Growl and Leer and all that stuff. I'm just going to leave it right there for just a little bit. And here we have Ra uh, Nosepass. Remember, this Pokemon is strong. It is super defensive. Physical attacks will not work. If you guys are using a Torchic, make sure to evolve it into Combusket because it will not have any uh, uh, effect against this Nosepass right here. And what I'm going to do right now is watch her gun. Look at that. Look at that. And... You see how defensive that Pokemon got? And here we go with that Rock Tomb attack that we don't like. Now, remember, Rock Tomb lowers your speed right here. So we better we better work quick. And as you can see, it just blocked me. So now I can switch out my Pokemon right here. No problem. I'm just going to go with another Water Gun attack. Hopefully for a critical hit. And there is that Oran Berry that we were talking about. Remember, these gym leaders like to use their healing potions right here. So I'm going to go again. And uh, there's that Tackle attack. So come on. Let's go, Water Gun. And there we go. Critical hit. Swamp Lord. FTW. Look at that. And, ooh, nearly grew to level 16, nearly evolved. And she's like, so, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League rules state that the trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. 
please accept the uh, official Pokemon G Pokemon League stone badge. That's right, we got a stone badge, guys. We got a frickin' stone badge. Look at that. Stone badge. That's right. Seven more to go, guys. The stone badge heightens the attack of uh, attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. And of course, we got ourselves our very first TM, which is, or no, not our first TM, but it's TM39. And it says, Technical Machine TM39 contains Rock Tomb. If it's not, if it not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches a Pokemon. Remember, it can only be used once if you use it. We're not in generation like, six or seven. Nine. Oh, yeah, we're not in generation six or seven. Five? No, yeah, I just realized. Generation 5. We're not there anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that badge. Look at that. Sexy. That's right. Sexy badge. Alrighty. Okay, so time to... Oh, wait. We need to finish off with the talking. Since you are strong, you should uh, challenge other gym leaders. By battling many trainers, you should learn many things. Okay, whatever you say, baby. That's right. See ya. That's right. So, first step taken. We're kicking some butt right here. We defeated everybody easily with our cool Pokemon. And this guy is like, whoa! What a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great! Check your trainer card. The stone badge you uh, you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the, the stairs to the championship. That's got to, uh, to feel awesome. It does. It feels good. It feels great. But you know what? Again, two-time champion. Come on gonna destroy everybody that's why I'm conquering the Pokemon world that's right don't you forget that let's go so after defeating the gym leader right here and just walking straight forward you'll see this get out get out of the way As you can see we got a team aqua member just running away from this guy right here he's like wait please don't take my goods hmm well I know what that means Raven's got another errand to run. So, what we're going to do is we're going to save, you know, that episode for the next, for tomorrow. You guys already know. You guys have to wait till tomorrow. I know I could just go and do that right now, but let's wait till tomorrow to see what happens in the next episode. We want to know what happens. Do we save the Devon Corporation worker from all his, from getting fired and all that stuff? We'll find out in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.